Hispaniola's mountains are the highest in the Caribbean. Humid, cloud, and pine forests cover large parts of the four mountain ranges. These forests offer perfect habitats for resident and migratory birds. A frequent guest on Hispaniola, the ovenbird returns every season to the same territory. Their name derives from their covered nests, resembling a Dutch oven, seen only in their breeding places in North America. The scaly-naped pigeon prefers to feed on fruits and seeds in humid, broadleaf forests and rarely looks for food on the ground. Large numbers are uncommon, as it occurs mostly individually or in small flocks. Also known as the red-necked pigeon, this beautiful Caribbean bird was once amply distributed on the island, until intensive hunting and habitat loss caused their disappearance in many regions. The endemic white-fronted quail dove has become one of the most threatened birds on Hispaniola. After disappearing from most of its original distribution range, special captive breeding efforts are trying to re-establish some populations in protected areas. It is a solitary bird, searching most of the day for seeds on the ground, close to, or within, thick and dense undergrowth. The second endemic toady of Hispaniola, the narrow-billed toady, is a common bird at higher elevations of the island. It is not very easy to distinguish from the broad-billed, but when closely observed, the pale blue iris, a dark tip to the lower mandible, and whiter underparts are clearly visible. But the best way to separate both toadies is by call. Expressing the sentiment of many observers, the esteemed ornithologist Dr. Alexander Wetmore once wrote, If there be gnomes and elves in our world of birds, among them are the tiny toadies, whose long, spade-like bills, light eyes, brilliant plumage, and peculiar mannerisms make them the dwarfs and hobgoblins of the West Indian forests. And wherever the narrow-billed toady is present, the black-throated blue warbler can also be seen, at least during the winter months. Almost the entire North American population migrates exclusively to the Caribbean, making this bird one of the most abundant migratory warblers on the island. Locals call this small songbird blue or coffee warbler for its abundance in coffee plantations at higher elevations. And while male and female birds of the same species often look different, in the case of the black-throated blue warbler, they are so different that they were originally described as two species.